All right. Good evening, folks. Thank you for joining us. I know we're all terribly busy, and I promise to be a good steward of your time. My name is Ben Conklin. Again, I'm Capstone Coordinator at West Iredell High School. And tonight, the purpose of this presentation is to inform you more about what Capstone Academy is and the opportunity that it offers some of our young, hardworking minds in Iredell County. So some of us are already familiar with what AP stands for, Advanced Placement. AP Capstone is a program that not many high schools can offer. It's a program that was created by the College Board and it's designed to create an opportunity for students to earn an elite certification. It helps them through taking a variety of specific courses, stand out to colleges in the application and even scholarship process. So through Capstone Academy, West Iredell has created the opportunity for students to develop these key academic skills that will not only be used in college, but of course, beyond. So we're helping students try to become more self-confident, independent thinkers who are problem solvers. Of course, while they are taking this challenging course load, they are earning college credit. Many colleges, in fact, offer several credits depending on how well students score on AP exams. Now, our graphic to the right kind of outlines what exactly the trajectory of the capstone program is. Students are attempting to earn a capstone diploma seen as one of the elite certifications that any graduating high school senior can have. It includes taking six AP courses, two of them specifically, AP Seminar and AP Research. In addition to those, students choose four other AP classes to take, electives, if you will. And upon taking and passing all six of these exams, the AP exam at the end of the year, with earning either a three or higher on a scale of one to five, students can unlock and earn this AP capstone diploma. If they take AP seminar and just AP research, they can earn a capstone certificate. So just to be clear, AP capstone, Capstone Academy offers is an opportunity to earn an elite certification as a high school senior. Now, West Iredell High School has Capstone Academy basically as a school within a school. At large, West Iredale High School has just under 900 students. So those of us who are in Capstone Academy will still experience the overall breadth of a traditional high school experience, and you will encounter what most would expect from West Iredale High School, a small town community feel. What sets us apart from many of the other awesome opportunities that our county offers is that West Iredale High School, students entering either as Capstone Academy students or not, are asked to take one of two leadership opportunities where we focus on developing what's often referred to as soft skills. Students coming in as freshmen join either ROTC or take a leadership course where these soft skills are promoted and they're asked to evidence. These soft skills, of course, are talk, talking about things like time management, networking, teamwork, overall creative thinking, and conflict resolution, attributes needed for success both in high school and beyond. I wanted to share an example of what a schedule could look like for a Capstone student, because Capstone students are working very hard and are taking on a lot compared to maybe some of their peers who are not challenging themselves as much. People feel that perhaps there isn't a lot of room in a Capstone Academy's student's schedule to enjoy the traditional high school experience. So I wanted to outline an example of what would be above and beyond in the required course offerings as a student may attempt to earn the Capstone Diploma or Certificate. Upon coming to West Iredell High School as a freshman and joining the Capstone Academy, students are asked to encounter their first AP class, AP Human Geography, which is combined with a World History Honors course and offered all year long. In addition, they will choose a writing intensive course because many of these students have already taken English 1 and they will not take English 2 until sophomores. We want them to continue to develop important writing skills as a freshman that they will need to employ later on. These include creative writing, journalism, or even Holocaust studies. As a sophomore, now with some momentum and even confidence gained from passing your first AP exam, students take one of our two flagship offerings. This would be AP Seminar. AP Seminar is combined with English 2 and again offered all year long, just like we saw with Human Geography and World Honors. 
Perhaps a student would like to take an additional AP course at this point to help earn those four other electives that must be taken and passed to earn their capstone diploma. So it is un it's not unique for a student as a sophomore to take another course, perhaps like AP computer science principles. Now, keep in mind the rest of their schedule as freshmen and sophomore will be filled with electives and other traditional high school requirements. Now we move on to our junior year, where students encounter even more AP classes. They are taking AP US history. And then the sister course to the seminar one referenced earlier, that would be AP research, which is combined with another AP course, AP statistics. They often take an English AP course at this point, often AP Lang, and then they can choose to take another English AP as seniors earn, but they don't necessarily have to. So as you can see with the offerings that this student would have taken, they're well on their way if passing these exams to earn their capstone diploma. But as a senior, they may choose to take AP Pre-Cal or AP Calculus, depending on what their goals are for after high school, especially like many of our students who are interested in pursuing engineering as a field. They may take that AP Literature and Composition as referenced earlier. And even with all of these AP classes, above and beyond what is necessary, students in this particular example would still have opportunities to take Mitchell courses. One of the things that we're trying to make very accessible for our students is the opportunity to take classes at Mitchell Community College and earn additional college credits beyond what they're earning through their AP courses. So I know this pathway might look rather intimidating, but keep in mind with all of these challenging AP courses, students are separating themselves from others who will apply to many of the same colleges they will or seek employment at many of the same places they will. Here's an example of a current Capstone Academy student who just applied to several top universities. Now, this is not every student that is a Capstone Academy student, but I just wanted to give you an example that students that do challenge themselves and go through this coursework are emboldened to apply for some of the top universities in the nation. Now, I don't want to act like we're just focusing on making yourself more likely to get into a difficult school. I also want to stress the point that we're really focusing on developing students who will be employable or interested in hiring their own employees as entrepreneurs. After all, we know that finding good workers is increasingly difficult. So whether you are interested in other fields like law enforcement or fabrication, or even being like a project manager at a tech firm, we're trying to give students the opportunity not just to get into some of the top colleges and universities, but make themselves extremely marketable for when it comes to employment or designs to create their own businesses. One of the things I wanted to stress to highlight this is our partnership with NGK Ceramics in Mooresville. NGK has created an opportunity for several past Capstone Academy students to have paid internships at their facility in Mooresville. Now, these students did not do all of the same work. They found niches in their current interests like computer science or engineering. We had one student go for work in accounting and even marketing. NGK has been so impressed with our Capstone Academy students that they almost exclusively look to hire them in these paid internship positions. These have been in place throughout the year and of course as summer opportunities as students return from their colleges and universities on break. We do take these opportunities to not only explore, but prepare ourselves for future careers very seriously. Again, I wanna stress the point that we're not just offering Capstone as an opportunity to have a increased chance of getting into university. After all, our goal at West Iredale High School is to have 100% of our students employed in the workforce, enrolled at a college or university, or enlisted in the military, being productive citizens. To help us along and navigate this path, this journey, if you will, we have two dedicated graduation coaches that work closely with Capstone Academy students. They often take students on field trips to visit colleges. They also help with skill development and offer an opportunity for guidance as students do work their way through this challenging course load. 
But it's not all academics. West Iredale High School and our Capstone Academy students enjoy a robust club atmosphere. I wanted to highlight one of our more, in my opinion, important clubs, the mentor program. Many of our Capstone Academy students become student mentors. They serve as advisors and advocates for those in the building who are younger, whether they are or not in the Capstone Academy. They often teach freshmen homeroom including developing their own curriculum and actually instructing those lessons. So they get a lot of the practice with those soft skills that we were talking about developing earlier. Perhaps one of the other more important bullets on this list is the last one, insert your club here. This is designed to show how we want students to make their own individual mark on West Iredale High School and bring their interests to light so others can also enjoy them. So in review, I just wanted to remind us that Capstone Academy is employing the AP College Board Capstone Diploma Pathway, where we hope to develop key skills that you'll use both in college and career. We want our students to become self-confident, independent thinkers who can solve problems. And we help students study topics that they themselves are interested in, particularly through those two flagship offerings of AP Seminar and AP Research, where a lot of the course content will be chosen by the students themselves as they work diligently to create research reports, presentations, and all kinds of other ways to, to gather, make sense of, and deliver information. We also hope that our students will continue, like many have before them, to earn academic awards and be recognized by some of the top colleges worldwide and stand out in the admissions and scholarship process. Many, of course, will earn lots of college credits as well as they pass these college AP exams at the end of the year in May. So if you are interested in learning more about West Iredell High School and our Capstone Academy, if you are thinking of possibly wearing green and gold and becoming a warrior yourself, I ask that you navigate to our website and find out more information concerning Capstone Academy. At our website, you can learn more about the Capstone program. You can see informational videos that were produced by the College Board, and you can apply to the Academy with our application process. You can point your phone camera at the scan me, the QR code will navigate you to our website, or you see the website address is listed below as well. So that's all I really wanted to stress and get across to everyone tonight, but I wanted to open up the opportunity for anyone who was participating to ask any questions, if you had any. We have a curriculum fair at West Iredell High School on February 11th from five to seven o'clock. I had to double check that, I wasn't sure. But yes, the date listed in the chat box is a curriculum fair at West Iredell High School. Parents are encouraged to come down and learn more, not just about Capstone Academy, but many of the other offerings that West Iredell High School has. All right, feel yeah. free to Hey, it's Ty McMiller. Thanks so much for having us here tonight and taking time out and putting this together for our parents. Our students really enjoyed when you guys came um, last month and um, we appreciate you doing this uh, for the families again. Uh, one question that I have is we have several students that have expressed interest in um, West Iredale and especially your capstone program. When will yes, applications be due and will students um, have to turn in two recommendations or what have you? If you can just give us a little information on that, it'd be great. Of course. Yes. At that website in the application, you'll be asked to have two teachers fulfill, <clears throat> fill out this application for you. It's very short. The deadline is at the end of the month, but that's a soft deadline. We, of course, encourage students to apply even after that. We have students from the past that enroll even over the summer. But there is an application process where we ask two teachers to complete a survey on behalf of the students, and the students themselves fill in a little bit of information. But it's not designed to be overwhelming. Thank you for your question.
is there anyone else that'd like to unmute themselves and ask a question? Hi there. Uh, my name is uh, Lewis Hazy. Uh, we have a daughter who's interested in uh, being in the Capstone Academy, and uh, her normal school would be South Iredell High. Um, and I don't think you guys probably have this figured out yet, but I just in case you do, I wanted to ask, is, is, is there any thought of a shuttle or transportation? Yeah, excellent question. That has been discussed. We have the backing of the district to offer a shuttle if the interest and the need was there. We have not decided on where that spot for the shuttle pickup would be, but we do have a possible opportunity to run a shuttle for those that need transportation to our campus. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Does anyone else have any questions? Keep All right. Keeping aligned with that. Sorry, Ben. Keeping aligned oh, yeah. with that. If there are other students um, that are not zoned for West Iredale, can you sort of speak, especially for our parents who are will be feed, our feeder school is ARS? Um, can you just explain the process for applying? um out of district to a high school sure i'm not sure if i can speak with confidence on that i'd rather defer to one of the guidance counselors but there is a process to achieve that as students go from eighth grade to ninth grade they generally have choice with which high school they could go to sometimes it's conditional upon their own transportation but i do have a guidance counselor in the chat right now who's a member um, well, I have, who's participated in this, and I can defer to her if that's okay, Miss Milliron. Awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> sure, not a problem. So typically folks who are um, applying to come to West Ardell High School that are not zoned for West Ardell High School would need to do an out-of-district application, and that's through Richard Armstrong's office, and you would contact um, a woman by the name of Joy Doherty, and Ms. McMillan, I'd be more than happy to forward that contact information to your school and any other parents that might be interested in that information. I just don't have it on hand with me right here in my house. So it's in my office. Thank you, Ms. Milan. I really appreciate that. If anyone has any other questions about a process like that or anything else, please feel free to reach out with, to me. My email, uh, I'll navigate to the first screen again. So my email is available, but you can reach me at West Iredell High School and I'd be glad to follow up with you. And I'll be offering an opportunity to visit West Iredell High School campus for a tour for those who are interested in seeking the possibility of becoming a warrior themselves. So thank you very much. I appreciate everyone for joining us. And this concludes our informational Zoom meeting. I hope everyone has a great night and thank you for your time. I'll stay on if anyone else has any other further questions. Hey, Ben, can you send me the recording? I, I had such a busy day today that I was not.